So does black mecca really work or is it all just a gimmick? Now I noticed that more and more people were talking about black mecca as a supplement. They claimed it was a game changer and that it's something everyone should try out. So this intrigued me. If you've watched any of my other videos I've made on this channel, you'll know that natural remedies are something that really interests me. If there's a supplement that can improve my performance or my overall well-being, then I'm interested to know more about it. So of course, I thought I'd better try out some of this black mecca and see if the claims about what it can do for you are actually true. I went out and I bought a bag of black maca powder. It wasn't too expensive at all, it's not really hard to get hold of and I decided to start taking it in my morning smoothies. Now this was initially going to be one month of me trying black maca but because I've had so much going on I've had to make this a two month test. Before I get into what it tastes like and what my results with it were I'll just give you a brief overview of what black maca actually is. Black maca is a root vegetable native to Peru and it comes in various types. You've got yellow, red, Red and you've got black maca. Black maca is what's considered the rarest and most sought after variety. Black maca has been used for a very long time by the indigenous people of Peru for medicinal reasons and as a food source and the list of its benefits is a very long one. Improved strength, energy, stamina, hormone balancing and in men in particular it can increase your libido and focus. This is a big reason why so many men are taking black maca right now. It also has a whole list of other things like vitamins, minerals and amino acids. So overall it's supposed to be some really powerful stuff. Let me get into what it actually tastes like. Black maca definitely has a taste that a lot of people may not like. I would definitely call it an acquired taste. Nowhere near as strong as something like Shilaji though. I'll put a link up in one of the corners of this video of me trying Shilaji. You might want to check that video out. If you're a coffee drinker and you actually like the taste of coffee, then you might not mind the taste of maca at all. It's a really earthy taste. It's not so bad when you add it to a smoothie. You can put some fruit in there and hide the taste. But on the first day I tried it on its own, literally on a spoon and I just didn't like the taste. It has a really sticky consistency when mixed with water so it doesn't really mix well in a glass on its own and also if you take it on a spoon it just sticks to the roof of your mouth and it's really hard to get rid of. I'd highly recommend only using the powder in a smoothie or just going for the capsules instead. Since I started taking black maca powder roughly about two months ago I will say that I have noticed some significant strength gains above anything else. I've noted improvements in numbers for my deadlift, bench, weighted pull-ups and other areas too which of course has been awesome but quite surprising too. I was taking black maca for about three weeks to a month and that's the point when I started noticing improvements in my numbers. I was actually starting to think that it wasn't working and my video review of the stuff was about to be an uneventful one but black maca is definitely a slow burner. I had felt my weight training numbers were at a plateau for some time. In fact my numbers stagnated and dropped since I had a back injury back in 2021. I have been slowly getting back to those numbers that I was at before but I feel like since taking the black maca those numbers have increased at a faster rate. I can really only attribute the change to black maca because nothing else in my diet or lifestyle has changed significantly over this time. I will also say that I wasn't as motivated to push myself over my limit. For these past few weeks I've actually surprised myself with my motivation to see how much further I can actually go. I don't feel as tired after a set as I did before. It's like I'm more willing to just say fuck it and just go for another set. I definitely have more energy than I did before. I definitely get the feeling that the effects accelerated for me after a certain amount of time as if it built up in my system. I was just willing to add more weight where I would normally be more cautious and not push myself as hard if that makes sense and then I'd end up thinking wow I didn't think that I'd be able to do that and then I'd just keep going. I didn't have that feeling at all before. I've gone a lot more further than I thought I could. My state of mind over the last few months has been okay. My sleep has been okay and my libido has been fine so I can't really say that I've noticed any differences in those areas. The main thing I note is the improvement of my physical performance but if you've tried it yourself do leave a comment and let me know what your experiences were like. Would I recommend you to try Black Macca? Black maca is something I will keep in my diet long term. It's something that's easy to take and it isn't too hard to get hold of. However, I think it's very important to find a good product and also to take it consistently in order to get the most out of it. I will share a link to the product I used in the description if you need it. Like I mentioned, I was taking it for the best part of a month before I noticed or felt anything different. So you do have to remain consistent. It's not an overnight thing. I did look into it and there are people claiming that black maca increases your testosterone, but I couldn't find find any hard evidence to back that up but in terms of performance in the gym I can definitely feel and see a difference. So that was just my experience of taking black maca. I think it's something that I'm definitely going to take regularly now. I want to know have you tried black maca root or are you thinking of giving it a try yourself? Let me know in the comments below. So with that being said thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.